welcome to the vlog. I'm here with Kyle. Hi, besties. And Brighton. Hi, yep. besties. So happy you're here today because there are so many fun things going on. First of all, we just checked Brighton out. I just barely ran into the school also to bring Lexi a little package with a hairbrush and dry shampoo. Cause she was like, mom, my hair is so greasy. Can you please bring dry shampoo? And I just felt like it's the office- It's starting to get out of hand. It really is. I just was feeling kind of embarrassed. Like, yes, we're here again. We're the weirdest parents to keep bringing all these things, but I don't know what to do, you guys. I'm like, Lexi, no one is noticing if you need dry shampoo or not, but hopefully it helps her feel better. I did add some Swedish fish in the package so that maybe she could just and just a little cheerful. By the, by the time she gets out of class, she'll only have one class left. So that's okay because I was coming to get Brighton anyway, so it all worked out just fine. The more exciting thing happening today is da 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 da. da. We started framing we today. Started we framing. started framing. Yes, the framers are there. Can you believe it? They're working on it. Let me show this you. This is such a big moment for us, you guys, because we've been trying to build this house for a long time already. We moved from our other house like four years ago, and we've been living with my sweet mom in her basement. She's been so kind to let us live there in hopes that, okay, we'll be building really soon, and it's just taken so much longer than we thought. So here we are. It literally has almost been four years, yeah, but that's okay. This is a big moment. Framing will be so exciting. Hopefully, it'll go by pretty quickly, it sounds like. They said four to five weeks, maybe six, and I I'm so ecstatic about that. Guys, that's dude. my Christmas. That's my Look Kyle's this. birthday. You can see him. Stop! Now they're putting wood across the top of the foundation. Yeah. Guys, I'm gonna give you some time lapses, but I'm so hyped about this. We are so excited. Um, and we're gonna yeah. vlog every step of the way and show you the whole journey and give you the tour and everything. Well, hopefully it's as fun for you as it is for us because we are pumped. We are here at the lot. We're just gonna check it out and see how it's going. You guys, how amazing to see people here with all the wood getting ready to frame our future house. Ah, level 10 excitement, yeah, guys. 10 so, excitement. so true. excited. If it wasn't weird to be jumping up and down and doing cartwheels right now, I totally would. For sure. Should I anyway? Maybe I will anyway. Yeah. Yes, I will. Okay. <laughs> Kaya, we just explained this is the framing nail gun. That's kind of cool. I want one of those for Christmas. Like right I can help frame. Oh wait, maybe it'll be done by like Christmas. Wood. Yeah. Dad, it's not even that far off the ground. Hi! That's the awesome framer down there, one of them. They've got a crew. Look, they're just about to put up the first wall. No way! The first wall! Okay, besties, this is really, really cool behind the scenes right here. Guys, these are the awesome framers. If you need a framer, these are who you are gonna wanna call. They're the best framers literally in the nation. We found the very best ones. Look at this, this is epic. We're here at the right time. Yeah. They're putting up the first wall, guys. Putting That's up the first crazy. Wall. Nice. This wall will forever hold a special place in my heart. <laughs> For <laughs> this being the first one. <laughs> Kyle, how badly right now do you just want to run and jump through that wall, that door? Like, I, I Is can't that going to be you. a door? Do it right now, do it. No, that's the window, okay. that's the future gym. Okay guys, this is Evie, the first dog in the house. Actually, okay, not the first one. <gasps> what? That's so cool. Oh my goodness, you are beautiful. Let me tell you, Evie, do me a favor, whatever you do, don't go over there and jump in that hole and fall down into no, that room. there was a dog that tried that and they didn't have success getting back out. No, so that was kind of a sad story. Evie would never, right? Guys, we just discovered the cutest thing. Look at what we found. I don't know how we didn't see this sooner. Somebody wrote their name in the concrete. London. <laughs> Based on the name, I think we know who it is. But you know what? This That's is so sadly, this is actually going to be hidden, and I wish we would have written our name somewhere where it wouldn't be hidden. Because forever, I'm like, I'm going to wish I could see that. We can in the garage. Oh I think yes. We should do it. Okay. The garage or the driveway, we're for sure going to do it. For sure. I just thought here in my base on the basement floor probably wouldn't be the best thing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So cute though. I can't wait to show London and Taylor and Lexi what's been happening here. Hi, Lexi. Hi. How was your appointment? It was good. Good. Tell me about it. It was like normal. So, yeah. did they give you any more dates about like getting braces off or anything? No, it's still just January 3rd. <gasps> That's so soon. Mm -hmm. It's that like, like it's like house frame braces off. Two months. Right? Less than two months. Let's see. Wow. 
Yeah. Well, let me see what color you got. <gasps> blue is so cute. Kind of matches your pants. pants. I know. We love blues. I'm obsessed with blue too. What is your favorite color? Do you have a color that, like, no matter how hard you try, you always just like gravitate back to? Because I think blue is one of mine. Like, especially a light blue. I can't get over it. I'm obsessed. There are lots of swimsuits coming that we have been designing that now that I'm like lining them all up, I'm like, wow, there's kind of like a lot of blue. <laughs> but that's okay, because it's such a pretty color, right? Mm -hmm. I can't wait to show you guys the new swimsuits. Actually, there's a new one that I'm gonna show you today. So we're gonna head home and I'm gonna show you one of the new suits that's actually gonna be restocked on the website tonight. So stay tuned. Lexi and I stopped at the grocery store because we're gonna get some delicious groceries. Yep. Lexi, show us some of your favorite things, your go-to things that you love to eat. I have a good idea of something that Lexi always loves. Am I right? Fruit, which one's your favorite? We've got strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, grapes. Grapes and grapes. strawberries. Strawberries. Lexi is probably the biggest fruit lover out of all the kids in the family, which I love. She just loves her berries, huh Lexi? What else? Oh, Taylor loves these. So we'll get these for Taylor. I'm gonna get some avocados because Brighton loves avocados and everybody loves bananas. Yep. So we'll get some of those. I think we should make cheeseburgers for dinner. And I totally agree. And Myers has the awesomest meat. So we're gonna find some good cheeseburgers. Oh, look at those. Whoa, that looks like a pizza cheeseburger. <laughs> Let's get something like that. So we've got some super good ingredients to make cheeseburgers. And now we're just headed home and yeah, we're gonna make them and they're gonna be so good. We're here at the gym. We've been trying to be more consistent with coming. They've been coming more than I have, but yeah, so I'm finally here this time again. It's been like a week or something, or maybe like two weeks, I don't know, it's been a while. But... Brighton, what are your favorite things to do here at the gym? I like doing like the ab things where you like pull. So your legs are right here and your arms are up here and you pull yeah. it and squeeze your abs together. Amazing. Good job, Brighton. So cool. Lexi, what's your favorite thing to do here at the gym? Probably the same one, or like the stair stepper I really like. And I do like weights, and my favorite thing to do there is probably like- I really like you have a weight class, actually. so you are so good at it. Yeah. What did you say? You really like what? Probably deadlifts is my favorite there. Deadlifts? Woo! I have one trick I wanted to show you just for fun, because I was like doing it, and I was like, Mom, look! And I was like, okay, Len, you have to show everybody your cool trick. Are you ready? Are you warmed up and stretched out? Whoa! Oh my gosh, that was amazing! Wait, can I try the kick one more time? Yep, do it again. Wow. You are a little bit. Oh, did you hit your head? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, that is, now that is challenge. Hello, mate. Hi. <laughs> Vlogging at night is my favorite. Right now it's actually like 10.30, but I love- 10.45. 10.45 to be exact. But I think vlogging at night is the best because I am a night person. And honestly, I just love being awake until I get tired, which is usually I not till the night. Uh, I think me and you are night people. Yeah. Lexi and Brian and London, I actually which is interesting because Kyle is a morning person, not a night person. So he has been going to bed early, really early, like nine, 9.30, and then waking up at like four or five. To me, that if someone was like, let me create the perfect torture plan for you, that's what it would be. <laughs> Exactly, but you know who if would I, like that? Instead of like grounding me, my parents would be like, no, you're waking up at 4 a.m. every day. Oh my gosh, that would be the worst punishment. Would that be a punishment for you guys? Or would I, you be like, I got it, I can do that? <sighs> Lexi, how about you? I mean, going to bed oh, at night. Definitely like, a punishment Whoa! for me. Really? Like Although Lexi's naturally an early person, Brighton, what do you think you are? It depends because I can stay up really late, but I can also wake up really early. Yeah. London, what do you think you are? Night person or morning? I like the night better. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Everyone is different. Everyone is born different and then also just maybe you can train your brain Wait, to be different. Mom. What I was thinking really quick is I just thought, I don't know if everybody has had a chance to vlog today and I quickly wanted to ask all of the girls what their favorite moment from today was and maybe what the hard part of today was. Starting with Taylor. Taylor, can you share that? Well, me and my mom are talking. We think I might have mono. <laughs> the kissing disease. 
She's been kissing too many boys, if you didn't know. Like, Taylor, how many boys do you think you've been kissing? I've been kissing very many boys recently, like in the last couple days. <laughs> or the last couple 16 years. <laughs> um, What's the truth, Taylor? Spill the tea. Um, I think I've just been sharing straight drinks and chapstick and like in football games, like this is so bad. I'm always the one that has the chapstick and everyone's always like, do you have a chapstick? I'm like, of course. And we so all pass share it with everyone. Chapstick and like, yeah. it's so bad. And the reason we think that maybe she has that is because she's been having these symptoms, which are... I've been crazy tired. I've been getting eight or nine hours of sleep every night, and I just can't stay awake throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And I've had really bad dizziness, and I'm like, I feel like the whole room is spinning, and I'm gonna fall over, like, really bad. And not only that, I recently heard of two people I know that have mono, and they live around us. And so I'm like, this is a very high likelihood Although that- mono isn't contagious through, like, breath, yeah. Is it it's contagious it's through contagious. screens. Or if you're watching a screen and someone's on it, boom. You have mono. <laughs> I'm sorry so, to tell you. Sorry guys. So everyone watching this has mono. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway. No, it probably is from chapstick and sweet drinks. <laughs> yeah. So Taylor's gonna get lots of rest and we have something we're gonna start trying and we're gonna share in the vlogs. Just looking up natural remedies for what can help people that might have mono. So we're gonna start that tomorrow and we will keep you updated with how Taylor's feeling because dizziness is no bueno. It sucks. Is that how you say it? I don't speak Spanish. No bueno. <laughs> yep. I don't know. I don't speak Spanish. What about the best part of your day? Best part of the day was that I edited my YouTube video. Oh, <gasps> yes, that's so true. It's really tough to edit a YouTube video, so when I finally finish it, it's so good. And it's live right now, what's it called? It's going live tomorrow. Oh. It is decorating my room for Christmas. Yep, check that out. I'll have a link below to Taylor's channel. Brighton, how about you? What was the best part of today and the hardest part? The hardest part of today was waking up because I took a shower this morning and I could not do it because when I wake up, I take showers in the morning. I like to take showers in the morning. And so I have to wake up extra early because I have to shower, blow my hair, you know, do all that. And so that was really hard because I was so tired. Because on Saturday, it's Monday right now, I got less than six hours of sleep, which is really, really bad. Yeah. And then Sunday, I didn't get very many. And you know, it just all like adds up. And so I've been really tired today. And I also had cheer tumbling in the gym and so I literally had no energy during any of them but my favorite part of the day work. was tumbling because I loved tumbling. And because she got in the car and said mom I almost have what trick? My back handspring. She almost has her back handspring. The lady spotting her today, the teacher spotting her said, I am barely helping you. So that's a big deal. Tumbling is really paying off and I can't I wait to it. see pretty soon here in one of these vlogs, you're gonna see Brighton doing back handspring without a spot and that will be such a big moment. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. How about you, London? My best part of the day today was probably at recess today at school or at cheer today because we did some cool new moves at cheer and it was really fun. And we did some like cool front flips at mm. school, like at recess. We like hold them this weird way and we run and then they like, it's really fun. That's but... awesome. And then the hardest part of the day was this morning at school during math. There was just like this one math paper. I can usually do it, but it was just mm. like kind of hard. And last but not least, Lexi. Tell me the best part of your day and um, the hardest part. You can do either one first. Which one do you want? I don't know. Um, well, the hardest part was we couldn't get mascara out of Lexi's jeans. She yeah. got mascara on her white jeans this morning and we they seriously cannot get out. Do not get Thrive mascara on your jeans. Note to self. Yep, not on your jeans. <laughs> um, the best part of my day was... Maybe your day wasn't quite as high and low, huh? It was kind of boring because I wasn't allowed to hang out with friends because I missed first period. Yeah, that's the role we have now. If she sleeps in and is late for school, she doesn't get to hang out with friends because yeah. we're trying to be better at being on time, huh, Lex? Yeah. But you know what? I think tomorrow you can do it. Are you going to wake up earlier? Yeah. Well, I have to because it's math and you yeah. don't miss math. So that was probably the hardest part of your day. Probably the best part of your day was probably your appointment, right? Your teeth and then swig. Mm, yeah. Was that a good swig. part of your day? Yep. You're awesome, Lexi. 
And then I, I'll just quickly tell you my favorite part of the day was probably we had, well, I don't know, I can't choose one, just one. But I never showed you the new thing that came, the new swimsuit. I was like, oh, I'm gonna show you the new swimsuit that came. I'm gonna probably show you tomorrow because more new things are coming tomorrow and it'd be more fun to show you everything all at once. So stay tuned, tomorrow's vlog, I'm gonna show you that. Make sure you're subscribed and turn your notification bell on so you can see all of our posts because we have so many cool things. Oh, and framing, hello, framing was for sure one of the best parts of the whole day because we have been waiting. Taylor, did you know that we started framing? I saw the one wall. Did you go there and see in person? I didn't see in person. Okay, we have I to go tomorrow and see it. I was down and screaming when I saw on the cameras. Wasn't that the craziest? That was so awesome. Ah, I can't believe it. Ah, okay, I can't wait to see tomorrow. Big things are happening at the house tomorrow too. Huge things, like literally huge things. And maybe one of the hardest parts of today was, if I had to pick something, was I really do feel like there's so much going on in our lives. Like, and this is not necessarily a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing, but it's just, I don't know. I'm just choosing this to share. It's so busy lately. Like you can tell probably that with Brad Swim and building our house and with YouTube and being full-time mom and everything else that comes with that, it's just a lot. So sometimes it's overwhelming, but I'm so grateful for the life that we have and the place where we live right now and I'm so grateful for all the opportunities for growth that we have and just life in general. I think life is so cool. I love being alive. <laughs> that sounds so cheesy, but it's true. And I'm really grateful for you guys and I love you. See you soon, besties.